The Wood Whisperer is sponsored by Powermatic, the gold standard since 1921. And by Rockler Woodworking and Hardware. Create with confidence. The workshop can be a dangerous place, but with a few precautions and some common sense, you can become a safety hero. Sandpaper, files, and rasps can be really rough on the fingers. And you want to keep your hands soft for your date on Friday night, don't you? So try wrapping your fingers in masking tape, or better yet, co-adhesive bandage material. It's soft and flexible, but keeps your fingers safe from abrasion. Now you'll be able to hold hands with your sweetheart and not be embarrassed by cuts and calluses. Nobody likes sore thumbs from hammering small nails. Youch! So why not use a comb to hold the nail in place with your hand safely out of the way? When the nail is started, remove the comb and continue nailing. When you're done, you can make sure your hair still looks as good as it did when you greased it up this morning. What's the rush, Speedy Gonzales? Don't you know the spinning blade can still hurt you? When using any tool with a spinning bit or blade, wait for the blade or bit to come to a complete stop before moving the wood. That will ensure that there's no accidental contact and the board won't become a projectile. Ever bump your hip on a protruding clamp? That's no fun for anybody. So here's a tip. Take an old tennis ball, cut it open, and put the ball on the end of the clamp. Not only will it cushion the sharp edge, it'll also make it easier to see, and thus, easier to avoid. Did you know that one of the most dangerous items in the shop is your ladder? Reaching for things while standing on a ladder can really put you at risk for a fall. Whoops! Next time, you'll be more careful, won't you? Hey, that blade is dull. Time to swap it out for a new one. But hold on there, friend. Can't you make this process safer? When it comes to power tools, you should remember the rule, no power, no problem. Always unplug your tools before changing blades or doing any other maintenance on them. Remember, no power, no problem. Handing sharp tools to another person improperly can result in a painful cut. Here's how a safety hero handles it. Direct the edge away from both of you. Grasp by the handle. When the receiver has a grip, he or she says, Thank you. When the giver is sure the receiver has a grip, he or she says, thank you, and he or she releases the tool. Now that's safety. Follow safe practices in your shop and before you know it, you'll be a safety hero.